So, growing up, I wasn't allowed to watch Dragon Ball Z. My mom thought it was too violent, and to my dismay, I never knew what anyone was talking about when it came to Goku, Vegeta, and their Dragon Balls. But one day, out of nowhere, there was a Dragon Ball VHS among all of our Pokemon tapes. So you know that I popped that VHS in, spanked myself to the couch, and was ready to be floored by some insane action and anime goodness. And I remember this tape, it was the World Tournament arc, and I was utterly elated to be watching some Dragon Ball action. But then, out of nowhere, I was treated to this scene. There you are, sir. This scene, this one anime food scene, has had a bigger impact on me than I'm proud to admit, honestly. You know, I never got super into Dragon Ball after watching this tape, but this food scene, this lunch scene between these friends has stuck with me ever since for some reason. And honestly, when I think of Dragon Ball, I think of this scene. Goku eating his ramen, or <laughs> his spaghetti. Excuse me, more spaghetti please! Vegeta chowing down on some, some meat. And just the utter dismay on Krillin's face. And this fascination with scenes like this, it's honestly, like, it hasn't gone away since. Food and anime is incredibly enchanting to me. But, why? <laughs> like, Anime food looks better than real food. It looks delicious, and I freaking want to talk about it. So from the get-go, you know, animations and cartoons are extremely stylized, especially Japanese anime. Everything looks appealing, everything looks cool, from the sword fighting to the gunplay to the magic, and even to the more mundane things like walking, running, and well, you guessed it, even the food. And yes, it's obvious that the food in Japanese anime looks good, and I don't need to tell you that. Reddit can tell you that. <laughs> when asking for people's opinions about this subject on Reddit, I got crushed. I got absolutely blasted. Oh, the food looks good because the animators made it look good, you idiot. <laughs> um. But, I think there still is something to be said about how good this food looks. Let's be for real, I mean, if animated food can make my mouth water, then something has to be going on. You know, from the shine, to the steam, to the neat perfection of the arranged meals, it takes what is already appetizing and just turns it to a whole nother level. I mean, if I can look at an Instagram photo of someone's burger and get hungry, then you better believe that an immaculately cooked ramen bowl in a Ghibli film is going to make me sweat. And I think there's even more to it that meets the eye. Food, universally, is an inviting commodity. We associate food with home, family, holidays, and comfort. I think I can safely say everyone loves food. And when done right, it smells good, it tastes good, and it makes you feel good. I think for me at least, like these are the reasons why I enjoy that scene from Dragon Ball Z so much. You know, these burly gods are taking a break from fighting to not only eat, but they're winding down, they're spending time together, they're taking a moment out of their crazy lives just to live a little bit. And that's honestly how I feel about all of these scenes with food. From Hal serving the boys breakfast in Hal's moving castle, to Rilakkuma and his friends sitting down for dinner, and even to Hana harvesting some potatoes for her wolf children. It's warm, it's cozy, it's satisfying, and I love it. So, you know, with all this said, maybe I wasted your time. Heck, I mean, this wasn't, <laughs> this wasn't an incredibly long video, but still, maybe I wasted your time. Again, it's obvious why food looks so good in anime. You can go anywhere on the internet and someone will tell you why. But I also think it's important to pay attention and to appreciate the small little things in all facets of media. 
that's basically what my whole YouTube channel is about. I believe that great things are made up of small delicious nuggets. Persona 5 would not be the same without its incredible music. Breath of the Wild would be less charming without its cooking minigame. And anime is that much more relatable and sweet with the delicious cooking and food. As silly as it sounds, I'm really grateful for exaggerated food and anime. It reminds me of simpler times, what means most to me, the importance of being cozy, and to take time to appreciate the little things in life. So you cool cats and crazy kittens, <laughs> um, remember to take time to appreciate the little things, even in your fictional animated worlds. Hey folks, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Also, um, recently I hit 400 subscribers and the Megalophobia video and my Death Stranding video have been doing pretty well in regards to views, so I just wanted to say thank you, really. Uh, as a small content creator, it it means a lot to see, you know, people enjoy my stuff and your, com your comments have been so kind and I, I really can't thank you guys enough. And also, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Hob Sakuga. I, I hope I'm saying that right, but most of the anime clips in this video are actually from their channel. They make some great anime compilations, and I love, love their videos, and you guys should definitely check them out. I've linked all of their stuff in the description below. And also, shout out to my friend Jonah, aka Jives. Again, I used some of his lo-fi music in this video, and all of his information is down below too, but... Yeah, um, if you haven't already, make sure you spank that like button, make sure you spank that subscribe button. I have more stuff coming down the pipeline. Um, school is kind of winding down, so I'm hoping to have, you know, more cool videos and like longer videos too, but yeah, um, love you guys. Thanks so much.